Hey there everyone, Hitesh here from LearnCodeOnline.in. Make sure you visit our website for another amazing trainings. We have plethora of videos on LearnCodeOnline.in and all are amazing. So let's get started and continue with our JavaScript training. Now in this video, I want to talk about a subject which I have been avoiding for a little bit while because it's a little bit intimidating for new users. But now you're at a position that you can totally understand that and can relate with me. And this is a very important concept in JavaScript known as scope. Now for a long time, JavaScript has been like not so favorite language for a variety of programmers because of the scope problem. And you need to just get it clear right now, right here. So let's talk about that. And before we even do that and talk about all of that, I have made some customization to this uh, VS code. For example, when I type log and hit tab, it just completes uh, console.log. Saves me a little bit one second so that I don't have to type that again and again. And I'll, I have also customized a little bit of my terminal and uh, it looks a little bit easier for teaching purposes. Now, you don't need to do all of this trainings and all of these settings. If you can uh, just go ahead, do that, that's also fine. If you want me to make another video on that, that's also fine. I can do that. Not a big deal. I just wanted to mention them. Okay, so now let's talk about this subject, which is scope. And probably we'll have two or three videos on the scope. It depends on how much we can explain in one video. So sometimes you might have noticed that I have told you that we are going to be using two keywords here, the let for declaring our variables and const for declaring our constant. But you might have noticed deliberately I have some places I have used var here. So var, you might have already guessed, is used for declaring a variable. So what is actually the difference between this let and var and what is this concept whole about this local scope and global scope? So let's discuss that. First of all, let's discuss a variable or let's declare a variable and that's going to be called as I am global to make sure that it just shouts out that yes, I am a global variable. So let's assign some value into this global variable, some value, literally. And now understand, so far we have been declaring all of our variable at the top of the file. And that's not usually always the case. Sometimes you declare your variable on the go. And that's also totally fine. So let's just have a true statement. Let's have an if statement here. And obviously it's mentioned as true. So definitely we are going to go inside this if statement. And here, let's just say we want to print our some uh, I am global here. Uh, I am global. There we go. So what do you think what's going to happen? Now let's just run this file. We're going to say node and global. I have to go inside this zero to basics. It's scope. Okay. So node scope.js and there we go. We got some value. So this is okay. This is fine. We have no problem at all. But what happens when we have something like this? We say something like this, let, and we are gonna say, I am local, and we get some more value into it. Okay, now let's just try to print that here, and we are gonna say, I am local. Okay, what is going to happen now? Let's just run this file, and let's see that. So we got some value and some more value. Okay, completely acceptable. We have no problem at all so far. Now the problem actually starts when you write some more code which is outside. Now notice, I mentioned that there is a block of code and this is your block of code. And this is actually your scope. Now any variable which is declared inside of this, uh, in theories, it should have only scope inside this one. So this means simply when I try to access this variable, I'm local, notice here, this is not defined at the top of the file or globally. This means that this is declared inside this scope or this block of code. So it's a life period or it's uh, visibility is only inside this block of code. If I'm trying to get here and try to have a log of this, I am local, it should not be accessible, okay? This is just to protect some of the data because you have declared it inside this block of code. It should only, only remain there. Let's try that and see what are the problems we are getting. So there we go, we get an error, that's good because I am local and local is not defined and that is absolutely fine. This is what we are expecting. Okay, so far, so good. Now what happens if outside this scope, I'm trying to access this I am global? No problem, since it's a global variable, it should be accessible anywhere, inside the scope and outside the scope as well. Let's try that. And we're gonna say I am global, there we go save that and let's try to run that open the terminal 
clear everything and run that again. And notice we still have a problem I am local. So what we need to do is we can comment that out, save that and can run our file again. There we go. No problem at all. Okay, that is all good. We have learned and understood that yes, there is a scope here. Okay. Now comes up the tricky part, which is oops, uh, let me just uncomment that. Now comes the tricky part. What happens if I redeclare this variable I am global here or try to reassign some values here. So let's just say instead of this thing, I'm going to just put a comment there. And instead of that, I am looking for this global one. Or let me do it this way. Let's just say this is being declared and there is another I am global and I reassign it to something like Superman. Now what do you expect what is going to happen? Okay, and let me show you this tricky part here. We are going to clear the screen. We are going to run that and notice that still I am local is not defined. So we we understand that. So let's just comment that save that clear the screen and run that again. And there we go. Notice here we have got first I am global here. So it is saying Superman now. Now, yes, you completely do understand that inside this scope, you have changed the global value. So it's completely accessible. That means it's changeable as well. So you have changed the value to Superman and you try to print it out here. OK, you got your Superman. That's our line one here. Then we are trying to print the local, which has a value of some more value. So it has got printed here. But since from the from the local scope or global scope, wherever you are changing the value, the change affects in everywhere. OK. And that is why when you try to access this global outside the scope, still the value is changed. Very important concept and everybody should pay really good attention there. Okay, that is all good. Now things actually change a little bit here. Okay, now let me show you a couple of interesting stuff. Now notice so far you have tried to access this I am local and without any doubt you always have got an error and you have understood the concept that yes, when we are trying to access anything which is locally in the scope, it is not allowed. It gives us an error. And this is now the version of the JavaScript that we are learning has its facility here. Now notice something strange here. When I change this let to var, something incredible and absolutely bad is going to happen, which is one of the reasons why some people used to hate JavaScript. So let's just say I have declared this variable I am local. I'm expecting that this is going to run only inside this part. And no matter what happens, I should not be able to get this value outside. But notice what happens when I use the var keyword. Let's open this up and clear everything. We are expecting an error. But notice something strange happened. So far we have been getting error on this. Now we are not getting error. We are getting actually the value. So in this case, notice on the line number three, we are trying to access it. So some more value is being printed. This shouldn't happen, but still this is happening. This is one of the leak cases of the variables which made JavaScript so much hateful for a variety of programmers. Still, there are obviously workarounds to deal with that. But in the newer versions of JavaScript, it is really recommended that you don't declare your variables using var until and unless you want to make them completely global. Uh, you should not be doing it. So in case you want to make it like globally accessible from inside the scope as well, you can use var, but it's a better approach that you declare it outside here in the global and global uh, space. But if you want something to be restrained to your scope only, then use the let. So I hope you have got the clear cut concept that why we are using let and not the var. In case we use the var, what are the problems that can occur? Okay, so this is all about your basic understanding of your scope. But there is a little bit more concept about uh, variable leaking and stuff like that. So there is a little bit more that we need to discuss about the parent child relationship of these globals and the local scope. So that is all clear. And in the next video, we're going to be exploring this uh, parent child relationship and these global and local environment and things will get more clearer as we'll move uh, forward in this series. So that's it for this video and I'm going to catch you up in the next one for sure. And of course, don't forget to visit learncodeonline.in.